Welcome back, guys, to uh, season. Who who even knows anymore? Season three, maybe season three of the uh, Kilmarnock journey save. And yes, we are here with the first qualifying round of Europa League two. Um, and if we have a look at the schedule, we've done our usual lose to everybody, make some money. We are just. All right in the Betfred Cup, you know. I would love to see some more goals. I'm looking at changing the formation, maybe. And now we're about to play the first leg against uh, Zeta. And then we'll play Queen's Park in this. And then in the next episode, I'll bring you the uh, Zeta second leg. And, the, and then Hibarian for the first opening game. Uh, we do have... We already know who we'll be playing against if... Um, if we beat Zeta, and it's most likely going to be Transport, Transport, the Turkish team, who have a lot more money than us. If we have a look at the finances, I did spend uh, four-ish million. So if we have a look at the transfers, this is who we bought it. We bought it, Alan Ramsey, who looks amazing on loan. We can't afford to buy him, sadly. Who replaced? Uh, yeah, he's on that. Greg Kilty, who left uh, Joe Gill as his backup. We brought in a lone goalkeeper um, who is all right, but then immediately we brought in Kieran O'Hara, who has some experience as the number one on loan. We are going to replace the goalkeeper next season when we get some money. We brought in Leo Ostelit. In defence, as you can see, he's just a non non no nonsense defender. Absolutely amazing. He comes in as the best defender at the club now. Um, and Ibrahim Shai, we spent 2.7 million on. Um, yeah, we, we have a lot of hope. Um, we have a lot of hope that he's going to come out good. Who knows? Uh, we brought in... Russell Ewan, just because he looks good, he's going to be good, and we just didn't want Aberdeen to play him. So, yeah, we've kind of brought him in just to, to to give twos to Aberdeen. And then we have Sean McLaughlin, and that's about it, really. Except for Barley, and this guy just can just play anywhere, apparently. So I've brought him in just to play anywhere. Right, if we go into the tactical meeting, nothing to change. This is, we are still playing this formation at the moment, but I am thinking. What? Where is Ramsey? He's playing in. Why is he playing? No. I'm going to play Shy just because I want to see how he plays. Well, yeah, so we have been playing this formation, but I do start to think that we might need to play wide players. So I am maybe going to bring back some of the wide players who are on loan and go for a wide formation, maybe. Anyway, so we're into the first ever European game, I think, for Kilmarnock, really. And we are already won it up. I thought that was them. I can't even lie to you. And Leo Ostelit from a set piece. So Ramsey, one of the players... Puts to one of our new players. He just heads it in. We don't score set pieces. This is weird to see. You know, definitely not offside. That's immediately praised him. I don't know how far we're going to get. I haven't even looked at the uh, what the board want. If I'm honest, um, I've looked at the season preview. And I'm working on the idea of us going for fourth to third place. Could this be again? Oh, Humphrey's there with his chance. Clearly, Leo Ostelik needed to be off to the guard i have been saying that wrong already uh, i think i'm aiming for the uh, third fourth place as i've tried to get interviews at every job this season and um nobody wanted me so yeah not even middlesbrough who were relegated ramsey puts the ball in again and off to the guard has scored again he puts it onto the bar by the looks of it where Ibrahim Sky then pushes it to the keeper. So if we have a look at this here, this is a dangerous position where Ostergaard hits the post. Shy 
at straight at the keeper and Ostergaard just taps it in for his second goal of the season and second goal in the game. Again, we'll just praise the boys because they are playing well. There's definitely going to be... And again, on this side, what is it? And now Shy or Sai puts it in. Ramsey is absolutely destroying it today from those free kicks. He puts the ball in and Sai just leaps. Some would say that's better than Ronaldo. Amazing. We're freeing a lot from free set pieces. If anyone could see the current vision <laughs> set by the, the board, it's to, to score set pieces. This is amazing to see. Going into half time, and we are freeing it up in our first Europa game. So that McLaughlin, who's playing at left back, he's coming as the uh, more of a, an experienced, decent. Again, Ramsey puts the ball in, and Ostergaard has scored a hat trick. Tell me, tell me where you are seeing a defender score a hat-trick like this. 47 minutes, three goals. Ridiculous. Uh, McLaughlin's came in to replace Waters. And again, we're going in and Humphreys puts it wide. And is that a penalty? It is a penalty, so I believe that will be... I'm not sure who's stepping up. Campus is... And he scores. The right back has put the ball in the net. Luca Campus, who hasn't had many assists or goals yet this season. So, it's nice to see him get on there. Beautiful into the bottom corner. And again, I'll go back to... Yeah, McLaughlin has come in to replace uh, Waters, who is still at the club. But when I brought in all the talent, I quickly realised that left back was a place of need that needed fixing. And now Bruce has got himself a goal. Um... I'm not worried about Queen's Park and herself, but if we have a look at this, we are absolutely deadly. The keeper should do better there, but Bruce, one of the tiniest men in his team, puts his head onto it. Uh, I'm not worried I'm going to about Queen's Park, but I'd like to keep the boys as fit as possible. So I'm going to bring Ramsey off. and I'm going to bring McKenzie on. and I think Oco Flex can come on for Bruce. And... Yeah, you, I'm gonna weirdly play him. I don't know where I'm gonna play. Arco Flex can just go it. As you see, Arco Flex was a good buy. Um, <laughs> midway through the season when it came up that he was available, and when we picked him up, he actually looked half decent. But what happened when I spent some money was everybody that I picked up just looks awful. So. If you'd seen, Pask has left to sign last season. How Haim, Haum, uh, again, it's left. You know, they've all left for money. And some of them, more money than I bought them for. So I, I'd say that's good investment. But pretty much everybody I bought in. Jamie Walker left. I even had to pay him to leave. So his agent wanted some compensation for the fact. So, you know... I maybe made some bad signings last season. Who knows? And the ball goes in again. Uh, Jenks collects and passes it around the back, and that's the end of the highlight. If we have a look here, we've had 18 shots, 11 on target. That's beautiful. Uh, I don't actually know what the sub balls are, so I'm going to be cheeky. Ah, oh, you can only make three. That's so silly. So 87th minute, we have absolutely dominated them. And two minutes of extra time. They've got their first highlight, is it? Oh, it's not going to come to anything. And Nicole puts the ball up, but nobody's there to receive. And this should be the end of the game, really. Unless we can... Nope, that's the end of the game. Whistle's been blown. Absolute amazing. We're not going to spend any time really on here. We're going to thank the boys. Uh, that is such... Obviously, it's a two-leg, so we have to... Uh, you were superb a goal, mate. Uh, send the assistant. And then what we're going to do is quickly rest the boys. Well, I don't understand those. They've not done that well ever. So, interesting that they did that well. And we'll just quickly get to the next match. Interesting to see though that, that I did try to sign Ostergaard 
um, permanently, but I could only get him on loan. The fee wasn't too much, but his wages were being blocked from the board. And I don't know why. They seem to have like a cap of what you could pay players, and it was at 9k, and he wanted 14, which I tried desperately to give. Um, but they said no. So, really annoying, really. Uh, oh, God, it's taking a little bit of time here. You can just hear me MacBook's death slowly, slowly dying as I wait for my PC. We are still in the um, the transfer. Uh, the transfer is still open. Uh, I did see some changes uh, for the league, which I didn't really understand. Um, and I don't know if that means it gets rid of the January transfer window, but it was like it basically scheduled the January transfer window as the same dates as this window. It's very weird. Um, yeah, we're going to hit early crosses because they seem to be absolutely deadly. Uh, we are going to play the exact same team. I know that sounds weird, but we're six and up, so I can play more of a rotated team for the next game. Um, it just because. I want everybody at the club to experience that level so they know what they're playing for. Sounds weird because I'm pretty sure that's not in the algorithm of how you play this game of a football manager. I'm sure they don't sit there going, oh, the manager, if he lets every person play, then they're, they're going to be more determined. But I just want for myself to you know, be that nice and be like, oh, yeah, everyone deserves to play in it. So I'm not even let Danny Rogers, who was such a like critical part of us getting this far, playing got And we're 1-0 up. I didn't think it was coming. Teddy Gents, absolute screamer by the looks of it. Second goal of the season, let's have a look at this. Campus again, moves the ball to Mumba, who gets it out to Campus on the wing. Mumba looks inside, and Gents just open, a bit like Yorley Tillemans, just puts it into the corner, really. Absolute beautiful. Yorley Tillemans would have been proud of that goal. Uh, again, we're just going to give some positive reinforcements. Praise the boys. You know, we shouldn't really have the goal, but we're going to take it one shot, one shot on target. As you see, we're absolutely destroying the uh, Betfred Cup, but we did that last season. So, if we look at oh, the strikers, are where I'm concerned. Um, obviously, Nicole and Bruce, uh, the love hate relationship of the two are turning 18, 19, I want to say, this season. And they're not, they're not worldies yet, you know, they should be better. I would have thought they would be better by now, as in, like, scoring more consistently. I don't know. I've been tempted to play one, just the one of them, because they don't seem to want to play together. I pair to Robsy, and Di um, we've stole the ball back with Sun, who gets it to Nicole, and he hits the shot straight to the keeper. And um, Yeah, they don't seem to play well together. So, I don't know what we should do about it. I don't know if Brophy... Like, Brophy will be a guy that gets into the squad for the next team. And Nicole puts the ball in, and it's going to be a corner. Brophy will play the next game. So, if he goes on to a run of form, he will probably work himself back in. Because maybe they need to have one experience, one not, and we bring one on as a sub. Maybe. Maybe. I think they just need that experience there. So, we're coming again with Mumba, and it's going back to Ostergaard. We play the ball around very nice, and Nicole again with another strike, um, not on target. That's half time. There is a room for improvement. I'm not sure where Queen Park actually play what league. I'm pretty sure they're a Championship squad, so I would expect to be putting some goals past these. But again, they okay, they are playing quite well. Um, in a minute, if they've not done anything, I will be demanding more. So McLaughlin is looking down this side and he plays a ball that if it had gone to Bruce would have been very nice. He plays a hospital pass to Sai who works and recovers and Bruce, who is more consistent, seems to have got his head to it again. I think he's five foot eight. This guy, look at his hospital pass here. Sai does great to recover and McLaughlin just throws the ball in and Bruce gets his head onto it. Arguably defender and keeper should do better. Good goal though. Can't take it away from him. We don't need to check the offside. I'm going to fire them up because I expect better still. They're not playing great. Um, I 
feel like Nicole has to come off. He's not playing well. I'm going to give him a few more minutes to prove me wrong. And here he goes. He's on the ball. And he takes... Now, nah, he's coming off. I know there wasn't much he could do there, but... Just expect better. Um, that's going to be the only change for the moment. I am going to look to bring Ramsey off. And maybe bring Jill on. Just as Ramsey looks like... I don't want to break him just yet. Bruce is working and he gets the ball to Brophy, who immediately has a impact. Uh, this is what I'd like to see. And I think that's what will have to happen is one might go on loan, um, one might stay. But I do think we need that experienced head of Brophy. As they come forward here with our player and O'Hara makes a good save there, it could be said it was quite on target straight at him. They've got a corner though which they put into the box and it is cleared by Gates and there's nothing coming from that. That was a good sh that was a good chance for Korean Park, but Hara did very well. Uh we're just going to make a substitute so Campus looks a little um tired and we know how weak we were without him last time. And again, Humphreys is looking tired. So I'm going to bring on uh McKay who again is still young and looking to improve and could be an actual decent defender if he puts his head down. Um, I brought in Ostergaard um, because he is better than McKay, but it wasn't to replace McKay. It was for McKay to kind of see and go, oh, I need to do something. That was a great finish there from Bruce, but he's offside, an even greater ball from um, whoever played it. But I just wanted him to see um, I don't know how well he was. Um, so we're coming into the last 10 minutes of the game and let's fire them up let's just see see if we can get anything coming out of it Sire looks really tired now and so is Genks but there's no more substitutes Lay for them is coming forward and Walsh has picked it up in a dangerous position but Solly doing his duty and McPake has picked it up for his first goal of the season luckily we do have the two goal advantage but if we have a look here uh, there's not much I can... Oh, okay, it looks like he passed it back rather than... So, Solly didn't do great. And Comley just puts in a great ball and the defenders fell asleep. Uh, that is really annoying. That's obviously when you do make the change at defence, you do risk yourself for that. So, upsetting. Uh, and they're coming again. It's, this isn't going to be what I think it is, is it? Let's keep closing them down. Beautiful. Let's get the ball away. Bruce is on the account. Let's try and finish with a bang. And he's not going to pass because he's greedy. And that was the final whistle. That's well done. All right, guys. That's everything from me today. Uh, videos should be coming back daily. If uh, you want to stick around, subscribe, like, view. Um, let me know what I need to do better. Sam. So